กึกลือปึกลือ Hi everybody, what do we have here? Hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide and yeast. What is that for? Oh, it's for elephant toothpaste. It's an experiment we're gonna do. So, let's learn about these two materials first. First, let's learn about hydrogen peroxide. It's antiseptic, and it's for medical uses. I don't know how to use it, but you still see the medical p r o d u c t But why is this packed in a dark bottle, a dark black? Because it's highly reactive to light or heat. And if you, I put it in the light, it will react. And water will be left. And there are different percentage. I brought t h r e percent because I couldn't find it. But six percent is the best one. The next one we use to make pizza dough. Of course, it's yeast. This is specifically an active dry yeast. So yeast is an organism that contains a special chemical called c h a t e r a s In this experiment, it will act as a catalyst, catalyst to help break down the hydrogen peroxide. This is our setting. I use the funnel so we can pour everything in. I don't have a plastic bottle, but it's recommended to use. So now, before we start, you're gonna need safety goggles. And some gloves because if you get some hydrogen peroxide on your hands, it might get an itchy or burning feeling. Oh, and before we start, I don't want my table to get so messy. That's why I put it in a tub, like this tray or anything, a bathtub, or outdoors. So let's start with the first step. First, we're gonna pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Be extra careful. Right here we go. Let's pour in safely. I need to add one more. It will be a half cup. Whoops! That's gonna be a half cup. Now I'm gonna pour this whole thing and into our water, which is warm. Let me mix it. But if you wanted the exact measurement, it's three tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of yeast. Looks like I'm making bread. The fun time part: putting the colors. I'm gonna put yellow and blue. So, do you guys notice anything? Looks like green, like dark green. And this is actually cold. It's like normal room temperature. Next, it's time to pour in the dish soap. It doesn't have to be the exact measurement. Oh, it's good enough. Hope this works. Time to pour in the yeast. Elephant toothpaste. So what's happening here? What makes foam the foam appear when the hydrogen peroxide comes into contact with the yeast? It starts breaking down into water and oxygen. Yeast is a catalyst that helps release oxygen molecules from the hydrogen peroxide. Oxygen is a gas, and therefore it wants to escape from the liquid. But because of the dish soap, the gas bubbles trap, trap, and make foam. So I assume with that dish soap, we would have bubbles, but not foam. 
So, let me touch and see if this is warm. It is a bit warm, yeah. Why is it warm? Because there's a thing called exothermic reaction. An exothermic reaction is a chemical reaction that releases energy through light or heat. In this case, it's heat. See how warm it is. Touched it because I was wearing my safety gloves, but do not touch it without gloves. Hey, I want to get that out. Get it out. Get out. Get out. Next time, I want to see if I get bigger bubbles with six percent hydrogen peroxide. Why is it called elephant toothpaste? Because maybe it's enough for an elephant's mouth because they have tusks and their tiny teeth inside that's and it's not enough for us because it's gonna be too big but it's enough for an elephant we only take a pea-sized amount right but now it's time to pour it all out yeah. looks like our funnel fell out Thanks for watching and also share support by subscribing my channel and also following me on Facebook and Instagram. Bye bye.